Welcome to Tiger Stadium for tonight's football action featuring the Commodores of Prairie County Central. And your Clay County Tigers. At this time, would you please rise and move your hats to honor America with the presentation of colors and the playing of our national anthem. Rachel Rice, a junior at Clay County High School, lead us in a pregame prayer. If everyone would please bow your heads. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day and everything you have given us. Thank you for allowing these athletes to play the game they love. Please watch over them during this game and everyone on their way home. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Tonight, the colors are presented by local representatives of the Clay County High School JROTC Color Guard. Tonight's Color Guard is being commanded by Color Guard Commander Sergeant First Class Jalen Roberts, Second Lieutenant Madison Smith, Commander Private Christopher Smith, and Private Matthew Jackson. Welcome everyone to Clay County High School. Another Friday night of football here. We're getting later in the season. It's hard to believe that uh, we've already played seven ball games. This is our eighth. It's a big district matchup tonight between the home team Clay County Fighting Tigers and the Prairie Central Commodores. Prairie Central comes in at five and two, 0 and two in the district. This is a district matchup. Uh, most likely the team that wins this uh, matchup tonight will finish with the third seed for uh, our district, which will be a huge advantage uh, still finishing uh, forward. This is uh, Clay County's last district game. Uh, we are one and two. We defeated Harlan County at Harlan County earlier in the year. We lost two uh, district games in a row last Friday night to Lecture Central. 
Friday night before that here at home, but you got to sit on the Southeast Kentucky Network. Uh, Josh and Tiffany. So this is a big, big district game. Lake County comes in at four and three. One and two in the district. Led by quarterback Tate Rice, junior. Completing about 65% uh, of his passes. 21 CDs through the air, one interception. Averaging a little over 200 yards per game. He just had a great junior season. Uh, favorite targets? Uh, number nine, Tyson Wagers, a junior, 37 catches and 18 D's. The Tigers will receive. Senior, seat. Zach Saylor, number five, and senior, Brady Wolf, number 19, uh, have multiple catches and 10 TDs between them. Running backs are led by Lucas Allen, uh, outstanding junior running back, averaging 75 uh, yards per contest and six TDs on the season. And freshman, uh, Aiden Carr, 157 yards on the year. Tigers defense. Jonah Taylor, number 33, leads us in tackles with 35. Uh, and juniors, uh, number nine, Tyson Wagers, and number 26, Lucas Allen, also our leading tackler for the Tigers. First Central, coached by Mark Dixon. Pretty balanced attack. They will run and throw it about the same amount of time as you will witness here uh, this season. It's about 50 50. Uh, running and passing the ball. Led by junior quarterback Kaiser Slow. Nine touchdowns on the season, five interceptions. That's in about 158 yards per game. Junior uh, running back Elijah Gayhart, uh, 491 yards, about 70 yards per game. Seth Jackson, 346 yards on the season. Hey, and uh, Kaiser Sloan is definitely a dual threat quarterback, so we're going to have to try to keep him corralled. We want to have success. We'll get to some more stats here, but we're getting ready for the kickoff. Play County is going to receive it. Play County in the black uniform. Very central with their road uh, white uniforms with the red, red pants. We're about ready for football action. Glad you guys could join us. Nippy evening. Thank you, Terry, for the Tigers number 11. Tyson Wagers at number five, Zach Singer. Kick is away. Gets it out to about the 30-yard line. Good starting position here for Clay County. It's kind of got one of these fields. Number good. five, Zach Saylor with return for the Tigers. Brings it to the 30-yard line. Clay County First and 10, not need, Tigers. Uh, have to punt the ball tonight. We need to move the, move the ball and uh, convert uh, once we get inside the red zone. Here it is, first play of the game. And Dr. Lucas Allen, good hold there. And on the tackle for the Commodores, number nine, Nolan Wooten. Number 26, Lucas Allen with the carry for the Tigers. Gain of six on the play makes it second four for the Tigers with ball spotted at their own 36 yard line. Well, if we could run the ball tonight and uh, have success doing it, that would uh, just keep ahead of the chains and move them. That would uh, certainly be a benefit. Try to try to keep the ball out of uh, Kaiser's hand over there for very simple. Big run, big run downfield. And on the tackle for the Commodores, number nine, Nolan Wooten. And number 41, Hunter Griffey. Lucas Allen again. Number 26, Lucas Allen with the carry. And that'll be enough for a first down, Tigers. First and 10 for the Tigers with the ball spotted at the Commodores 41 yard line. Two giant holes over here on the right side to start the ball game, and Lucas Allen has, uh, he's exploded. It's Allen again. 
little less and that the time. Maybe for three. the Commodores, number 72, Rain Cornet. Number 26, Lucas Salen with the carry. A gain of two on the play makes it second and eight with the ball spotted at the Commodores 39-yard line. First possession of the game for either team. There is a penalty on the play. Love to see those five yards. Offside on the Commodores. Commodores a little over zealous on that one. Be a five yard penalty. Makes it second and three with the ball spotted at the Commodores 34 yard line. Tate does an excellent job on the hard count. Teams have jumped all year. And off to Allen again, around the right side. He's got room. All the way down to the 10 yard line. And on the tackle for the Commodores, number three, Jackson Deaton. Number 26, Lucas Allen with the carry. And that'll be enough for a first down, Tigers. First and 10 for the Tigers minute. with the ball spotted at the Commodores 11 yard line. Makes we can get a first down inside the one. Hopefully we just hand it off here and Lucas just trots on in with it. These are the kind of drives you need to finish off. It is Lucas again. Maybe two. And on the tackle for the Commodores, number 41, Hunter Griffey. Number 26, Lucas Allen with the carry for the Tigers. Gain of two on the play. Makes it second eight with the ball spotted at the Commodores nine yard line. Like hanging the eye. Counter, it looked like he fumbled the ball. There is a fumble on the play. Recovered by the Commodores. Perry County Central has uh, recovered the football. Look, I was trying to run a counter play back to the right side. I'm not sure exactly what happened there, but the Commodores will take got over messed up a little. On their own 11 yard line, first and 10, Commodores. Might have laid it on its hip, which that happens sometimes. Good drive there for Clay County to come away with no points. Right there, good pursuit. Looks like that was you know, uh, Taylor for on the tackle. Tigers, number 33, Jonah Taylor. He is our leading tackler this year from the linebacker spot. Played a really nice season. A loss of three on the play makes it second and 13 with a ball spotted at the Commodores' own eight-yard line. It was a tackle for loss. Loss of about three. Back Perry County back inside the 10-yard line. Another handoff, another loss. And on the tackle for the Tigers, number 35, Aiden Baby Bear Wagers. Baby Bear on the tackle. A loss of two on the play makes it third and 15 for the Commodores with the ball spotted at their own six yard line. See if Perry County will uh, try to air it out. Take it your time, third and 15. Ball's on the six. If you're a Tiger fan, you certainly want to see us hold him right here and let him punt out of their own end zone. He is going to pass it. Nobody in the vicinity. Good pressure that time by Taylor got back there again. It's going to bring up fourth down. And the Commodores will pass from the Commodores. 
makes it fourth and 15 for the Commodores with the ball spotted on their own six yard line. Back return for the Tigers, number five, Zach Saylor. 7.07 to go here in the uh, first quarter. Both teams have had the ball once. Clay County had a, a massive drive going and fumbled the ball inside the, their own 10 yard line. Set to punt for the Commodores. Number seven, defense Talon Gomes. Uh, by the Clay County Tigers. Want to force a uh, punt out of the own end zone. There is a fumble on the play. He muffed it. Both teams claiming victory over that uh, fumble. To be recovered by the Commodores. Two early turnovers by the Tigers. The Commodores will take over on the own 30 yard line. First and 10, Commodores. It was a short punt and uh, kind of a little bit of a, a line drive. He tried to catch it in the air where he had momentum. He was on the run and uh, he just muffed it. It's a good idea, I just didn't get a clean handle on the ball. So it's first and 10 again for Perry County. And on the tackle for the Tigers, number 26, Lucas Allen. The pass is complete by number one, Kaiser Sloan. To number four, Tyler Smith. Gain of five on the pass play. Makes it second to five with the ball spotted at the Commodores 35-yard line. Single back in the backfield. And on the tackle for the Tigers, number 75, Carson Sizemore, number 35, Aiden Wagers. Number five, Elijah Gayhart with the carry for the Commodores. A gain of four on the plate, makes it third and one with the ball spotted on their own 39-yard line. Third down in less than a yard here for the Commodores. And there is a penalty on the play. There is some payback. We jumped that time. Five yard penalty going to give them a first down. Offsides on the Tigers. Be an automatic first down for the Commodores. First and 10 for the Commodores with the ball spotted at their own 45 yard line. So we've got twin sets left and right for Prairie Central. Another good defensive effort there for Clay County. And on the Tigers tackle for, for the Tigers, number 60, Nate Taylor. Number five, Elijah Gayhart with the carry for the Commodores. A loss of one on the play makes it second 11 with the ball spotted at the Commodores own 44-yard line. The Taylor boys have been playing awful awful well this season. They are brothers. One sophomore, one's a junior. Full house backfield. Run the pair off to the right side. Good yardage that time off the right side. And on the tackle for the Tigers, number 11, Tyson Wagers, and number 26, Lucas Salen. Number 15, Seth Jackson with the carry for the Commodores. A gain of seven on the play. Makes it third and three with the ball spotted at the Tigers' 48-yard line. Power eye again. Big hole. Looks like they found a little something over there on the right. And on the side. tackle for the Tigers, number 26, Lucas Salen. And number 58, Caleb Bennett. Number 15, Seth Jackson with the carry for the Commodores. 
That'll be enough for a first down. With the ball spotted at the Tigers' 36-yard line. First and 10, Commodores. Glad you could join us here on the Southeast Kentucky Network and Cats TV. We're in the first quarter, no score. Free Central is driving the ball, though. And on the tackle for the Tigers, number 26, Lucas Allen. And on the carry for the Commodores, number 10, Ethan Combs. Gain of six on the play makes it second four with the ball spotted at the Tigers' 30-yard line. And on the tackle for the Tigers, number 11, Tyson Wagers. Number 10, Ethan Coles with the carry for the Commodores. And that'll be enough for a first down for the Commodores. First and 10 for the Commodores with the ball spotted at the Tigers 26 yard line. They can't with two early turnovers. Commodores has marched down to the 26 yard line. And on the tackle for the Tigers, number 60, Nate Taylor. Timeout, Tigers. Timeout, Clay County, 228 to go here in the opening quarter. Glad you could join us here on a, another Friday night of Clay County High School football. Zero to zero, big district game going on right now between Clay County and Prairie Central. Clay County got the ball and actually uh, drove it all the way down the field behind the running of, uh, of Lucas Allen. Uh, we got down to inside the 10 yard line and uh, uh, we fumbled the ball. They recovered, held them on four downs. They punted and we muffed the punt. They got the ball back and that's where we stand right now. 2.28 to go here in the opening quarter. Spotted at the Tigers 23 yard line. Perry County's come out and uh, spread the field a little bit here on this possession. Kaiser's going to keep it. And on the tackle for the Tigers, number 58, Caleb Bennett. Four down number 68, Taylor. He's going to bring out about third down and three. Number one, Kaiser Sloan with the carry for the Commodores. A gain of three on the play. Makes it third and three with the ball spotted at the Tigers' 19-yard line. Back to the pair eye. They've been having success off the right side over there. He's got a hole. One man to beat. And on the tackle for the Tigers, number five, Zach Saylor. Like he's got down to about the one yard line. Number 15, Seth Jackson with the carry for the Commodores. And that'll be enough for a first down. That'll make it first and goal for the Commodores. With the ball spotted at the Tigers one yard line. Jackson is one of the uh, leading rushers there for the Commodores. He's looked good on this drive. Coming in at the tailback spot. Looks like they didn't get set. They let him buy with it. And Touchdown, Commodores. Looks like the left tackle over here. A quarterback keeper by number one, Kaiser Sloan. Central looking to attack on the point. It is good. And the oh, extra good. point is good. Seven to nothing. Perry Central takes the lead over here in this big district matchup with Clay County. 123 to go in the opening quarter. Seven Tyson Wagers. Sailor and Wagers are 
the deep backs. Set the kick for the Commodores, number 19. Tyson has uh, three returned, uh, kickoff returns for touchdowns this year. I think there is a uh, offsides illegal procedure or something here on the Commodores going to back them up five. I don't know what the school record is for returning kickoffs for touchdowns, but I would say Tyson is bound to be right uh, right there with whoever's got it, and, may, and he may actually have the uh, may actually have the record with three. It's Tyson with the kick return, good return out to the 40-yard line where Clay County will take over again. Trailing and seven the tackle nine. for the Commodores, number 17, Tyson Riley, number 11. Tyson Wagers with a return for the Tigers. He, Bobby spotted at the Tigers 40 yard line. There is a penalty on the play. Unsportsmanlike conduct on uh, Perry Shepard. Unsportsmanlike conduct on the Commodores. They'll take us out to the 45 yard line or on 45. So excellent field position uh, on this starting here on our be a 15 yard building. The ball be spotted at the Commodores 45 yard line. Out. First and 10 Tigers. And on the tackle for the Commodores, number 25, Phoenix, Phoenix Ed Eddington. And number 41, Hunter Griffey. Gain of three on the play for number 26, Lucas Allen for the Eddington Tigers. And Griffey, uh, Makes it second and seven the with the ball spotted at the, the uh, Commodores 42-yard line. Linebackers. Inside a minute. So far, Clay King's offense has been Lucas Allen. Be surprised if Clay can't take a shot here in a minute down the field. There is a penalty on the play. I think we got uh, the Commodores again, even though I did see our receiver move also. Yep. False start on the home. Tigers. Be a five yard penalty. Makes it second and 12 for the Tigers. With the ball spotted at the Commodores 47 yard line. I thought it looked like he took off early, and of course, about the same time, their defensive end over here also moved. One of those that could have went either way. That one's against us. Trips down here to the bottom of the screen. Empty backfield for Clay County. And on the tackle for the Commodores, number 25, Phoenix Eddington. The pass is complete by number one, Tate Rice. To number five, Zach Saylor. The gain of six on the play. Makes it third and six for the Tigers. That's going to do it for the first quarter. At the end of the first quarter, it's Commodores seven, seven, Tigers zero. zero. Glad you could join us here on the Southeast Kentucky Network and Catch TV. At this time, and the Tiny Tigers. The Tiny Tigers joined us here with our cheerleaders tonight.
Can't begin to know it, but then I know it's growing strong. Wasn't the spring, and spring became the summer. Third down and six for the Tigers. Big opening play of the second quarter. Commodores lead seven to nothing. Two miscues by Clay County. Is Third and six for the Tigers. Ball oh, spotted sure. at the Commodores 42 yard line. It's hand off to Allen again, around the right side. Got a little bit of room, maybe picked up three. And on the tackle for the Commodores, number 26, Evan Guffey. Number 26, Lucas Allen with the carry for the Tigers. A gain of two on the play, makes it fourth and four. Correction, fourth and three for the Tigers with the ball spotted at the Commodores 38 yard line. Lake County is going for it in their own territory. There is a penalty on the play, offsides on the Commodores. I think that's two on them and two on us so far. Gives us a first down. That'd be a five yard penalty. Enough for a first down, Tigers! First and 10, Tigers, with the ball spotted at the Commodores 33 yard line. We have an empty backfield. Looks like ty uh, two to the right and three down here to the bottom of the screen. Quarterback's going to run it. And on the tackle for the Commodores, number 15, Seth Jackson. Number one, Tate Rice with the quarterback keeper. Gain of nine on the play for the Tigers. Makes it second one with the ball spotted at the Commodores 24-yard line. Nice run over here to the, spread them out and uh, he had plenty of daylight over here to the left side. The only question there was, did he have it long enough? I thought he did. Of course, we don't have instant replay to confirm that, but seven to six. They like ain't looking like we're gonna go for two. 10 wait to go here in the half. Zach Saylor on the reception. Just got over the goal line. The ball did pop loose. And the two-point conversion is no good. Two-point conversion fails. We tried to uh, run pair eye off the right-hand side. Did not get there. Seven to six, Clay County trails it. I think we're in for a well of a ball game. Brady Wolf does the punting and kickoffs for Clay County, number 19. Number eight, Jacob Brock, and number 15, Seth Jackson. About the 18 yard line. Number two, Ty Vincent with the return for the Commodores. 
And the tackle for the Tigers, number six, Aiden Carr. The Commodores will take over on their own 28-yard line, first and 10, Commodores. They ran the ball down the field pretty good on us last time, running over here to the right side, just off tackle. I think Clay County's made an adjustment. I saw the defensive coaches uh, talking to our defensive, defensive end. Good defense that time. They're right at the line of the tackle for the Tigers, number 33, Jonah Taylor, and number 58, Caleb Bennett. Looks like we have an injury here for uh, number five, Elijah Gayhart, with the carry for the Commodores. No gain on the play. We'll step away here for a second for the injury. Clay County. Is trailing this one seven to six here uh, in this big district matchup with Perry Central. Uh, this is uh, big implications in our playoffs uh, this year. Perry Central has one more game, one more district game after this. They go to uh, Harlan County, or, or Harlan County may come to their place. I'm not, I'm not 100 percent sure, but uh, if Clay County can win this, and we'll finish two and two in the district and finish third in our district. Uh, which would get us to play the second place team over in the rival uh, district, which is the uh, Corbin, Knox Central, Lincoln County, and Wayne County district. Free Central's running back is up, walking off. That's good to see. Second 10 for the Commodores with the ball spotted on their own 28-yard line. Kaiser's going back to pass. Got a man deep middle. He's got it. The pass is complete by number one. Kaiser Sloan to number 10, Ethan Coles. That'll be enough for a first down for the Commodores. Pick up about 30 yards on the fast play. First right and 10 the for the street. Commodores with the ball spotted at the Tigers 40 yard line. Kaiser Sloan, junior quarterback. Definitely a dual threat. He will run it, and he's got a good arm. He's spinning. Pair eye. Going to the left side this time. Stay down here. And on the tackle for the Tigers, number 26, Lucas Salad. At number 75, Carson Sizemore. On the tackle. Gain of about five yards. Gain of five on the play for the Commodores. Makes it second five for the Commodores. With a ball spotted at the Tigers 35 yard line. Tackle for the Tigers, number 58, Caleb Bennett. That Bennett flew through there. Got number 15, him. Seth Jackson with Bennett the carry for the, the Commodores. Might have lost one. A loss of one on the play. Makes it third and six for the Commodores with the ball spotted at the Tigers 36-yard line. Looks like we got twins left and right here for the Commodores. Kaiser Sloan carrying the ball. And on the tackle for the Tigers, number five, Zach Saylor. 
It'll be enough for the first Number down. Number one, a quarterback keeper by Kaiser Sloan. Be enough for a first down for the Commodores. First and ten for the Commodores with the ball spotted at the Tigers. 24-yard line. Not real sure what that discussion was about. Three wide outs for Prairie Central. One back in the backfield. He's going back to pass it. There is a penalty on the play. It's like a little screen pass back over to his running back. Went up gaining some positive yardage there. There is a penalty on the play. We'll have to see what that was about. I did not see what happened. Maybe a face mask, maybe, I, I don't know. Personal foul on the Commodores. Personal foul must have happened after the play. The ball be spotted at the Tigers. 33 yard line. It is still first down for Perry Central. Back in the power eye. Makes it first and 20 for the Commodores. And off on the left side, good hole. He's got some speed. And on the tackle for the Tigers, number five, Zach Saylor. Number 33, Jonah Taylor. Your basic uh, number 10, Ethan Coles with the carry for the left, Commodores. Boys. That'll be enough for a first down. Makes it first and 10 for the Commodores with the ball spotted at the Tigers' 12 yard line. First and 10 at the 12. Looks like they're staying with the pair eye this time. And up over the left side. Tigers do a lot better job that time. Right at the line of scrimmage. And on the tackle for the Tigers, number 35, Aiden Wagers. 33, Jonah Taylor. The no gain on the play for the Commodores makes it second and ten. The ball is started at the Tigers 12 yard the, line. 6 0 6 to go here uh, in the first half. Pretty central up 7 to 6. play over that time. Looks like it has uh, maybe Jaden Woods. The pass is incomplete by number one Kaiser Sloan intended for number four Tyler Smith for the Commodores. Breaking up the pass for the Tigers. Number 12 Jaden Woods makes it third and ten for the Commodores with the ball spotted at the Tigers 12 yard line. We're getting late here in the first half. Be awful nice to see the Tigers hold. And off to the left side again. Right in there, 
Touchdown. Touchdown, Prairie Central. Touchdown, Commodores. A 12-yard touchdown run by number 10, Ethan Combs. Prairie Central is going to lead it 13-6. Good blocking on the left-hand side there. They kind of went all right on the first drive and come back and went uh, about all to the left here in uh, in this possession. Kick it the up and line. the extra point is no good. Didn't fail underneath the bar that time, so it is 13 to six. Prairie Central is on top. Five and a half minutes to go here in the opening half. Commodores, number 19. Be a good time for Tyson to run one back if he gets the chance. Number five, that Zach Saylor with return Saylor for the return. Tigers. Good return by Zach. Brings it back to the Tigers' own 36-yard line. First and 10, Tigers. They can't need to mount a drive here. See if we can't take this down. Score here in the last minute and uh, take us a lead going into halftime. And on the tackle for the Commodores, number 64, Marcus Robinson. Number 26, Lucas Allen with the carry for the Tigers. Gain of nine on the play makes it second one for the Tigers with ball spotted on their own 45-yard line. Lucas having a good game here tonight. He is our leading rusher. A lot better defense that time. By there is a penalty on the play. It's going to be a dead ball foul. It appears to be on Perry Central. Holding uh, on the Tigers. Holding on. Personal foul on the Commodores. A personal foul against Perry Central. I wonder if both penalties will be marked off. One was a uh, in-play penalty, and then the other, the reason why they mark them off both is the dead, dead, dead ball personal foul. It's going to be a first the down. spot at the Tigers 49 yard line. And that'll be enough for a first down, Tigers. First and 10 for the Tigers, the ball spotted on their own 49 yard line. And on the tackle for the Commodores, number two, Ty Vinson, number 26. Lucas Allen with the carry for the Tigers. A gain of four on the play makes it second and six for the Tigers. 
with the ball spotted at the Commodore's 47-yard line. We got our two leading receivers down there at the bottom of the screen. That ought to be a five-yard penalty. There is a penalty on the play. Offsides of the Commodores. Be a five-yard penalty. Makes it second one for the Tigers with the ball spotted at the Commodores 42-yard line. Sailor and Wagers down here at the bottom of the screen. And off to Lucas Allen again. And on the tackle for the Commodores, number nine, Nolan Wooten, and number 64, Marcus Robinson. Down. Number 26, Lucas Allen with the carry for the Tigers. First Central has a player down. Three minutes and 23 seconds to go here in the opening half. Clay County trails 13 to six. They have a good drive going. We need to kind of milk this thing down here and take it down to no time on the clock and see if we can get in the halftime ahead. First and 10 for the Tigers, the ball spotted at the Commodore's 39 yard line. And on the tackle for the Commodores, number two, Ty Vinson. Tate Rice uh, tried a quarterback sweep over here to the left. Number inside. one, Tate Rice with the carry for the Tigers. Well. I think he might have even lost one. No gain on the plate, makes it second and ten with the ball spotted at the Commodores' 39-yard line. It's pretty close to the same area where they threw uh, the long touchdown pass to Sailor earlier. We have not thrown the ball much here tonight. It's uh, kind of been the Lucas Allen show, which I know that part of the game plan would have been to keep Perry's uh, offense off the field. We are going back to pass. The pass is intercepted by number two, Ty Vincent of the Commodores. Pass is intercepted. Overshot his man by about five yards in the uh, Perry Central's. Three Central's defensive back came up with the interception. Now it would just be a question of whether or not his momentum carried him into the end zone, which would be a touchback, or they're going to call it dead on about the two-yard line. They are going to call, uh, call a touchback. A good break there for Perry Central. They can't the Results are touchback. Uh, the Commodores will take over. Stiff up right here. We don't need to get it, let them have another score here before halftime. It's 3.02 to go here in the first half. First Central leading 13-6. The Commodores will take over on their own 20-yard line. First and 10, Commodores. It's only Rice's the second uh, interception of the year. But now he, he threw that one a little. It's probably five yards too far. Kaiser Sloan, junior quarterback here for the Commodores. Got uh, twin sets left and right. The pass is incomplete by number one, Ty Kaiser Sloan, intended for number 10, Ethan Combs. Makes it second and 10 for the Commodores with the ball spotted on their own 20 yard line. Let's try a little five yard turnaround there, a little hook. Fell incomplete. Good defense here this time by the Tigers. There's a penalty. There is a penalty on the play. Holding on the Commodores. 
be a 10 yard penalty. Makes it second 20. With the ball spotted at the Commodore's own nine yard line. Well, if you're a Tiger fan, you'd sure like to see some type of uh, miscue on the offense here. Sloan's got a, got a man. Broken up, good play, good defense. The pass is incomplete by number one, Kaiser Sloan, intended for number 84. Noah Kilburn, bringing up the pass for the Tigers, number 19, Brady Wolf. Makes a third and 20 for the Commodores with the ball spotted on their own nine yard line. Beautifully thrown, thrown ball that time and uh, Brady Wolf was just stride for stride with. He made a great, great play there. We're gonna make up third down and 20. If they can, can hold here, they should get excellent field position. So just trying to throw a screen pass. The ball is loose. My county is uh, touchdown. 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 A fumble recovery for number 58. Should be uh, Caleb Bennett, I believe, on the uh, fumble recovery in the end zone. Well, if we ever needed that, I just mentioned, boy, it'd be nice to have a good miscue. That was a good one. Caleb Bennett. Caleb is one of those ball players that has a nose for the football. He has recovered more than one fumble this year. Clay County has a chance to uh, take the lead. It's 13 to 12. Oh, a big play for the Tigers. It's running a sweep. And the two point conversion is no good. Try to sweep left that time with uh, Lucas. He just kind of run out of real estate. Got run out of bounds about the one or two yard line. So the extra point try is no good. Clay County's failed on both of those. It's 13 to 12, Commodores lead with 2.40 to go here in the first half. We need good kick coverage here. Trying to pin them back. Two minutes and 40 seconds to go. Tigers are trailing by one. Going to cost us 15. There is a penalty on the play. He signaled for a fair catch and then uh, got tackled after he caught the ball. Perry County going to get the ball out uh, near midfield. Actually, the 48 yard line in Tiger territory. First and 10 for the Commodores with the ball spotted at the Tigers' 48 yard line. Sloan back to pass again. It's going deep. There's two men back there. The pass is complete by number one, Kaiser Sloan, to number 10, Ethan Coles. That'll be enough for a first down for the Commodores with the ball spotted at the Tigers. Quite frankly, I have no idea how he got out that line. ball. We had two guys there. Correction, seven. It's kind of a jump ball, and he jumped 17 up yard and uh, took it away from our Tigers. Big, big offensive play. Move the ball down to the 17 yard line, first and 10 for Perry Central. Pair eye, see if they go back to that left side again. Nope, coming right. And on the tackle for the Tigers, number 75, Carson Sizemore. 
Number 15, Seth Jackson with the carry for the Commodores. Gain of seven on the play makes it second and three for the Commodores with the ball spotted at the Tigers' 11-yard line. I don't think Prairie Central will be in any big hurry here. They'd like to leave no time on the clock for the Tigers also. Power eye. He's right down to about the one yard the line. Number 52, a first John goal. Linden. Minute 23 to go here in the half. Number 15, Seth Jackson with the carry for the Commodores. Be enough for a first down. Makes it first and goal for the Commodores with ball spotted at the Tigers one yard line. Looks like it's going to be under a minute when uh, the Commodore snapped the ball. Or they, may, they may run it all the way down and call timeout. Looks like the quarterback is still over huddling up with his coach. So I think they're going to call timeout. That's exactly what Coach Dixon does. 46.2 seconds to go timeout. here in the half. Commodores. Commodores are threatening down inside the one-yard line. Quarterback sneak, that's Kaiser Sloan with his second. Touchdown the evening. Commodores. A one yard touchdown run. The quarterback keeper, number one, seconds to go. Kaiser Sloan. Let's see if they line up to go for one or two. Looks like their kicker's on the field. They have a good kicking game. I think he's only missed two all year. Well. And the extra point is good. The extra point was good. The, actually, the play sticker actually took off a little bit early that time, but uh, they did not call anything on him. 20 to 12, the Commodores lead by eight with 44 seconds to go here in the first half. I would like to see him. Said to kick for the Commodores. Kick it to number 11. Number 19, here. Ethan Spencer. Back return for the Tigers. Number five, Zach Saylor. And number 11, Tyson Wagers. That's Zach going to be on the return. Still on his feet. Good return. Number 11, Tyson Wagers with a return for the Tigers. Well, that was Wagers. I think they flipped sides on me that time. 34 seconds to go. We don't need any. The Tigers will take over on their own 33 yard line. First and 10, Tigers. We can hit on a good pass play right here, maybe get the ball to midfield, and maybe we can start taking a few shots. We got three to the right. Looks like we're going one-on-one uh, -on -one down here to the bottom of the screen to Tyson. A little bubble screen. The pass is complete by number one, Tate Rice, to number 11, at Tyson Wagers, and that'll be enough for a First down, Tigers! First and 10 for the Tigers. With the ball spotted at their own 48 yard line. Timeout, Tigers. Tyson Wagers, the lead receiver here for the Tigers. Kind of got a little bubble screen, got some linemen out in front of him, made, made a good move. First 
Again, uh, Clay County ball on the 48 yard line. The pass is complete by number one, Tate Rice, to number five, Zach Saylor. Gain of six on the play. Makes it second four for the Tigers with the ball spotted at the Commodores. 46-yard line. Empty backfield, five receivers out for the Tigers. The pass is complete, but number one, Tate Rice, to number five, Zach Saylor. Had to stop the clock to move the chains. The pass is complete, but number one, Tate Rice, to number five, Zach Saylor. Ten seconds to go here in the opening half. Ball's on about the 38-yard uh, line. You about four on the play. Makes it second six for the Tigers. They might have time. The ball be spotted at the play. Commodores. 38-yard line. Timeout. Tigers. Clay County is out of timeouts. So if we run uh, two plays, one of them will have to be an out of bounds over here uh, on the sideline. We have two very tall receivers, actually three. Per central in a prevent defense, so they have a guy standing down back on the 10 yard line. Rolling out to the right. Going deep. Touchdown! Touchdown! A 38-yard touchdown pass. The one, T-Rex, to the 11, Tyson Rangers! That was a beauty. Threw it about 45 yards in the air from where he was standing. It's going to wind up being a 38-yard touchdown pass. Tyson Lage right in stride. So 20 to 18. Clay County is yet to uh, convert on a two point conversion, but they can actually tie this game up with 4.4 uh, seconds to go here in the opening half. Tried to run like a little and the two point Rice conversion is no good. There to go line and he was uh, kept out of there. 20 to 18. Commodore still on top. 4.4 seconds to go here in the opening half. Brady Wolf set to kick. He just dribbles it down through there. That's going to do it for the first half. It's been a very At half time, uh, it's Commodores pretty good ball game, Tigers 20 to 18. 18. The Commodores is going to take a two point half time lead. Come back for the second half. You're watching the Southeast Kentucky Network and Catch TV. Welcome back to Tiger Stadium. Getting ready to start the uh, kickoff here to start the second half. It's been a very entertaining game. Both teams have uh, turned the ball over. They can't turn it over three times tonight. Two fumbles and uh, interceptions. And then uh, Caleb Bennett. Right before halftime. Send a uh, kick for the Tigers, number 19, Brady Wolf. A, uh, back return for the Commodores, number 84, zone. Noah Kilburn. Uh, that, and number uh, two, Ty Vinson. The quarterback there for Prairie Central had uh, had fumbled it, and we recovered it for, uh, 
for a touchdown. Brady Wolf to uh, kick the ball off. And on the tackle for the Tigers, number 19, Brady Wolf, net number 84, Noah Kilburn with the return for the Commodores. They will take over on their own 42-yard line. First and 10, Commodores. Brady Wolf, as he has done all year on the kickoff, and Brady Wolf on the tackle. First and ten, this is the first uh, snap of the second half. And on the tackle for the Tigers, number 11, Tyson Wagers. Number 52, John Langdon. Number 10, Ethan Combs with the carry for the Commodores. Gain about three on the play, makes it second and seven with the ball spotted at the Commodore's own 44 yard line. Clock is not running for some reason. There it goes. Tackle on and the, the tackle line. for the Tigers, number 26, Lucas Sound. The Allen. pass is complete Great. by number one, play. Kaiser Sloan. He got to that. To number 10, the the Ethan Combs. Going to be a big loss, loss of on the play. five on the play. Makes it third and 13 for the Commodores with the ball spotted on their own 39 yard line. One of the better defensive plays we've had tonight for sure. Taylor's played good again on defense. Caleb Bennett's looked good. Carson Sizemore heard his name called a few times. Should be a passing down here for Sloan. He is. He's looking. Getting pressured. Ball over. Good defense. The pass is incomplete down. by number one, Kaiser Sloan, intended for number 10, Ethan Combs. Makes it fourth and 13 for the Commodores. With the ball spotted on their own 39 yard line. That's exactly what Clay County needed. Set the punt for the Commodores, number seven, Talon Goins. Bad return for the Tigers, number five, Zach Saylor. Zach's going to let that one go, and it does take a really good bounce here for the Commodores. Down about the, the Commodores will take yard over on 18 yard line, first and 10, Commodores. Correction, Tigers. They can't going to see what they can do on their open, opening possession here in the second half. First and 10 for the Tigers, the ball spotted on their own 18 yard line. Lucas Allen kind of carried the load there in the first half for the Tigers. Rice was able to uh, connect though with uh, Tyson Wagers on a beautiful over the shoulder catch uh, for a touchdown, 38 yard touchdown that got us within two. He's got room, he's got good speed. And on the tackle for the Commodores, number seven, Talon Goins. The pass is complete, but number one, Tate Rice to number 11, Tyson Wagers. And that'll be enough for a first down, Tigers. First and 10, Tigers with all spotted on their own 40 yard line. I don't know about you guys, but I just like watching Tyson play. He's, uh, he's a playmaker. Simple little, uh, simple little screen pass out here and picked up about 20. And off to Allen. 
And on the tackle for the Commodores, number 15, Seth Jackson. Number 26, Lucas Allen with the carry for the Tigers. And that'll be enough for a first down, Tigers! First and 10 for the Tigers with the ball spotted on their own 49-yard line. Pass is complete by number one, Tate Rice to number Taylor five, Zach Saylor. Reception. Going to pick up about uh, Gain about six, six on the play, makes it second and four. With the ball spotted at the Commodore's 45-yard line. Run, and on the tackle for the Commodores, number 25, Phoenix Eddington. Number 26, Lucas Allen with the carry for the Tigers. And that'll be enough for a first down, Tigers! First and 10 for the Tigers with ball spotted at the Commodores 41-yard line. Good defense to stand that time. And on the tackle for the Commodores, number 41, Hunter Griffey. No gain on the play, makes it second and 10 for the Tigers. That's Griffey uh, on the tackle. It's one of the uh, leading tacklers there for the Commodores. No gain. Changing the play. Gonna be a sweep. And on the tackle for the Commodores, number 15, Seth Jackson, number 26, Lucas Allen with the carry for the Tigers. I can't pick up about. Gain of five on the play, makes it third and five for the Tigers with ball spotted at the Commodores. 37 yard line. We can definitely need to pick this up and keep this drive going. Hey! Zach Saylor on the reception. Zach Saylor still on his feet. The pass is five complete by number one, Tate Rice to number five, Zach Saylor. And that'll be enough for a First down, Tigers! First and goal for the Tigers. With the ball spotted at the Commodores' one yard line. I actually thought he got in. It looked like he hit the pylon, but uh, they call him just short. Ball inside the one. Touchdown, Tate Rice. Touchdown, Tigers! going to take the lead. A one yard night. touchdown run. Number one, Tate Rice. That one yard touchdown run by Tate Rice has put Clay County up 24 to 20. 
We have yet to uh, convert a two-point conversion. It'd be a nice time to see that happen. Rolling out to the right. And the two-point conversion uh, is no is good. Wide open, but threw the ball a little bit behind him. Two-point conversion has failed. 704 to go here in the third quarter. Clay County has taken the lead 24 to 20. Set to kick for the Tigers, number 19, Brady Wolf. Back return for the Commodores, number 84, Noah Kilbert. And number two, Ty Vinson. Clay County finally corralled him. And on the tackle for the Tigers, number 35, Aiden Wagers, number 84, Noah Kilburn with a return for the Commodores. They'll take over on their own 34-yard line. Going down the left side. He's got some good room again. Over and on there. the tackle for the Tigers, number 26, Lucas Salen. Go, and number two, Brayden Jackson. Number 10, Ethan Combs with the carry for the Commodores. Gain of four on the play, makes it second and six. With the ball spotted at the Commodores on 38-yard line. And on the tackle for the Tigers, number 52, John Langdon. I think that was Langdon and Taylor on uh, combining to make Number that 15, tackle. Seth Jackson with the carry for the Commodores, a gain of... Third down at about two. Eight on the play, makes it third and two. The ball spotted at their own 42-yard line for the Commodores. Good nifty run in there. That's and on the tackle for the Tigers, number 33, Jonah Taylor. And number 35, Aiden Wagers. Number 15, Seth Jackson with the carry for the Commodores. That'll be enough for a first down. The ball will be spotted at the Tigers 49-yard line, first and 10 Commodores. Jackson has played a really nice ball game tonight for the Commodores. Power eye, strong to the left. Another good run, about eight. And on the eight tackle for yards. the Tigers, number two, Braden Jackson, number 58, Caleb Bennett. Number 10, Ethan Coles with the carry for the Commodores, a gain of eight on the play, makes it second and two for the Commodores with the ball spotted at the Tigers 41 yard line. A little over four minutes to go here in the third quarter. Per Central is driving. Back in that pair eye. He's going back to pass. He's got a man, got a step. The pass is incomplete. But number one, Kaiser Sloan, intended for number 84, Noah Kilburn. Makes it third and two for the Commodores with the ball spotted at the Tigers 41 yard line. I think that was Wolf on the coverage. 
He's running stride for stride with him. Third and two. A lot better defense that time. Going to hold it short. The Tigers, bring up fourth down. Lucas Allen. Looks like fourth and about two. Ball's on the 41 yard line. Number 15, Seth Jackson with the carry for the Commodores. Be a good time. For, no gain on the uh, play. Makes count. it fourth and two for the Commodores. With well, the ball spotted at the fifth. Tigers. 41 yard line. I can hear the coaching staff right here yelling for him to watch the ball and don't jump off sides. Big play here. Actually, was a very good defensive play, but he got enough for the first and down. The tackle for the Tigers, number 11, Tyson Wagers, number 33. Jonah Taylor is going to get to first number down. 15, Seth Jackson with the carry for the Commodores. That'll be enough for a first down. First and 10 for the Commodores with the ball spotted at the Tigers. The ball be spotted at the Tigers 38 yard line. In on the tackle for the Tigers, number 58. Caleb Bennett, Senior Caleb number 15, Bennett, his name a lot Seth tonight. Jackson with the carry for the Commodores. No gain on the play, makes it second and 10 with the ball spotted at the Tigers 38 yard line. Seth has been the workhorse for uh, Perry Central tonight the same way that uh, Lucas Allen has been on offense here for, uh, for Clay County. I think Clay County was forced to actually call timeout because we were going to be uh, run out of time. Timeout to get Tigers. players off the field. I know he didn't really want to have to use that one, but that was the smart thing to do. 24 to 20, Clay County in the lead with 2:21 to go here in the third quarter. Second and ten for Clay County. Looking a little confused. Sweep left. Nobody's going to touch it. 38 yard touchdown. Touchdown, Cowboys. A 38 yard touchdown run. By number 10, Ethan Combs. Twenty six twenty four the Commodores back on top. Looking for the point after. Kick is up and it is good. And the extra point is good. Perry County gonna take a three point lead, twenty seven to twenty four, with two minutes and thirteen seconds to go here in the third quarter. Appreciate you joining us here tonight, Catch T V and the Southeast Kentucky Network. Zach Saylor, number 11, Tyson Wager, set to kick for the Commodores, number 19, Ethan Spencer. On the tackle by the Commodores, number 25, Phoenix Eddington. Number 11, Tyson Wagers with the return. The Tigers will take over on their own 33 yard line. First and 10, Tigers. Yeah. 
And on the tackle by the Commodores, number 15, Seth Jackson, number 26, Lucas Allen, with the carry for the Tigers, a gain of two on the play, makes it second and eight. With the ball spotted at the Tigers' own 36 yard line. I see a pass in our near future. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to run a sweep out here to Allen. Maybe the first man miss. And on the tackle by the Condors, number 25, Phoenix Eddington. Number 26, Lucas Allen with the carry for the Tigers. Might have got maybe one. Gain of one of the play makes it third and seven for the Tigers with ball spotted at the Tigers' own 37 yard line. Got wagers to the top of the screen and Zach Saylor down here to the bottom. And on the top of the Commodores, number 17, Tyson Riley. The pass is complete, but number one, Tate Rice. To number 11, Tyson Wagers. And that'll be enough for a first down, Tigers. First and 10 for the Tigers. The ball spotted a long 38-yard line. And on the tackle for the Commodores, number 41, Hunter Griffey, number 26, Lucas Allen with the carry for the Tigers. Gain of four on the play, makes it second the six. The horn has sounded, that's going to end the third quarter. The ball spotted at the Tigers' own 47-yard line. First play of the fourth quarter. And on the tackle for the Commodores, number 17, Tyson Riley. The pass is complete, but number one, Tate Rice. To number 11, Tyson Wagers. No gain on the play, makes it third and six for the Tigers. With the ball spotted on their own 47-yard line. Big part of the, part of the ball game right here. 27-24 Commodores. Tyson Rangers. And on the tackle for the Commodores, number 25, Phoenix Eddington. The pass is complete by number one, Tate Rice, number 11. Tyson Wagers and I've been up for a first down Tigers! First and ten Tigers with a ball spotted at the Commodores 30 yard line. Big completion. Another one of those underneath uh, little screen passes. We know what can happen when Tyson gets in the open field. Big defense and the play tackle there. for the Commodores, number 41, Hunter Griffey, number 26, Lucas Sound with the carry for the Tigers. Also point on the play, makes it second 11, with the ball spotted at the Commodores 31-yard line. Griffey and Eddington are uh, both very good defensive players. Second 11, lost uh, one on the play. We got trips and we got empty backfield, actually. 
three to the bottom of the screen and two receivers to the uh, to the top. There is a theory of the for, play. Uh, Zach Saylor. Looked like he reached out and actually grabbed hold of his shirt when he was coming across, uh, coming across there to try to make the reception. That's going to be a 15 yard penalty. Pass interference on the Commodores. The ball will be spotted at the Commodores 16 yard line. And that'll be enough for a first down, Tigers! First and 10 for the Tigers with the ball spotted at the Commodores 16 yard line. Pass out here. And on the Flash tackle for the Commodores, number 25, Phoenix Eddington. The pass is complete by number one, Tate Rice, to number 11, Tyson Wagers. Maybe more than that. Gain like a six on the plate, makes it second yards. and four. With the ball spotted at the Commodores 11 yard line. I okay, think definitely needs to punch this one in. Put the pressure back on uh, Prairie Central. Sweep out here to Allen. And on the tackle for the Commodores, number 64, Marcus Robinson, number 26, Lucas Allen with the carry for the Tigers. Gain of one on the plate makes it third and three for the Tigers. With the ball spotted at the Commodores, nine yard line. Eight and a half minutes to go here in the ball game. First Central still on top, 27 to 24. Tigers are deep in their territory. Sweep again. Another good defensive effort over here. And on the tackle for the Commodores, number 25. So Phoenix Eddington, lost, uh, number 26, Lucas Allen with the carry for the Tigers. Watch the ball. Loss of two on the plate makes it fourth and five with the ball spotted at the Commodore's 12-yard line. Try to sweep, uh, sweep over here to the right-hand side twice in a row. Lost a couple yards on that one. It is fourth down. Good defensive effort that time. The pass time. is incomplete, but number one, Tate Glass, bring up the pass for the Commodores. Number four, Tyler Smith. Results of turnover on downs. The Commodores, Commodores will take oh. over on their own 12 yard line. First and 10, Commodores. Big defensive stand there for uh, Perry Central. Score remains 27 24. He's trying to get the ball out to Wagers and. Uh, Pass was uh, knocked away. Clay Kane's defense needs to uh, stiffen up right here. It's on the right side. Still on his feet all the way out to the 40. And the tackle for the Tigers of the 11, Tyson Wagers. Number 10, Ethan Combs with the carry for the Commodores. That'll be enough for a first down. First and 10 for the Commodores with the ball spotted on their own 40-yard line. And that's the way you get yourself out of a hole back there, Commodores on the first play. Move the ball about 28 yards. Put some separation. 
separation between themselves and the Tigers. Back Take care of the football. Back in the power out of them hand it off to Jackson. Jackson not a lot. He is going to search for it for yard or two. And on the tackle for the Tigers, number 35, Aiden Wagers. Number 15, Seth Jackson with the carry for the Commodores. Gain of one on the play, makes it second nine with the ball spotted at the Commodores on 41 yard line. Six and a half to go. There is a 30 on the play. Offsides on the Tigers be a five yard penalty. Ball be spotted at the Commodores 46 yard line. Second and four. Pretty central staying with that uh, full house backfield. Got through the middle. Still on his feet. And on the tackle for the Tigers, number two, Golden Jackson. Number 15, Seth Jackson with the K for the Commodores. That'll be enough for a first down. First and 10 for the Commodores with the ball spotted at the Tigers' 33 yard line. Well, we're getting into a danger situation here. Correction, 32 yard line. And on the tackle for the Tigers, number 58, Caleb Bennett. Loss of one of the play for the Commodores. Makes it second 11. With the ball spotted at the Tigers' 33-yard line. Big hit right at the line of scrimmage. Might have lost one. Looks like it did. Second down in 11. We're going to be under five minutes to go here in the ball game when they snap it. 27-24. Commodores in the lead. Looks like another ball. Another tackle for the Tigers, number 58, Caleb Bennett. Number 75, Carson Sizemore. Bennett and Sizemore, their names have been called a lot. Loss of three on the play. Makes it third and 14 with the ball spotted at the Tigers' 35-yard line. I don't think Prairie County's in much of a hurry. They do have the lead. Third down and 14. We're going to run a sweep to the right side. And on the tackle for the Tigers, number two, Braden Jackson. Lake Haines defense is looking uh, very stout right, right here. I think it's kind of desperation time. Fourth down and 14. Lake Haines needs a stop. Makes about four and fourth and 13 for the Commodores with the ball spotted at the Tigers 34 yard line. Wouldn't be surprised to see uh, Kaiser Sloan kind of keep this one himself. They're after him. Little too high. Oh, over the pass is incomplete, but number one, Kaiser Sloan. Good defensive stand right there. Both teams here in the fourth quarter come up with good, big defense. Resorts and two run downs. The Tigers will take Mike over. He's going to get a chance to come down here and possibly win this ball game. 27-24 with uh, four minutes and ten seconds to go. The Tigers will take over on their own 35-yard line. First and ten, Tigers. For sure, both of these teams know what's on the line here. You definitely want to finish at least third in your district. Completed the sale. He's out. 
Slater's got a little room down the sideline. And on the tackle for the Commodores, number 25, Phoenix Eddington. The pass is complete by number one, Tate Rice, number five, Zach Saylor. And that'll be enough for a first down, Tigers! First and ten for the Tigers with the ball spotted at the Commodores, 47-yard line. Rice back to pass again. A little tunnel screen. He's got wagers again. And on the tackle for the Commodores, number three, Jackson Deaton. The pass is complete by number one, Tate Rice to number 11 to Tyson Wagers. And that'll be enough for a first down, Tigers. First and 10 for the Tigers with the ball spotted at the Commodores 30 yard line. Wins left and right this time. Every play has been a passing play, and he's connected on all of them so far. Except for the one errant interception, he's uh, uh, played a nice ball game. Concussion, let's go! And on the tackle for the Commodores, number nine, Nolan Wooten. Number 26, Lucas Salen with the carry for the Tigers. A game of three on the three plate makes it second and seven. The ball. With the ball spotted at second the Commodores. 27-yard line. 28-yard line. Number nine, Nolan Wooten with the interception for the Commodores. There is a personal foul. Oh, big interception cut right in front of the, our receiver. Here's a penalty on the play. The referees are getting together on that one and not sure what they saw. I figure it has to be unsportsmanlike conduct or a personal foul against Clay County, one or the other. And sports black conduct on the Commodores. It's going to back them up 15 yards. Did occur after the interception for uh, Perry Central Will was uh, retained the football. I would think there'll be a steady diet of uh, power running plays here. 2.52 to go in the ball game. What a great game it's been. Lake County uncharacteristically have given it away four times. There's a penalty on the play and sports by conduct on the Tigers. Exactly sure what that was about. Come on, Rex, you can do it. You got this. You know how to do this. Do it now. Well, you can do it for us. Come on. So they marked off 15 one direction and 15 the other. Well, I'll be spot at the Commodores 33-yard line. First and 10, Commodores. After all that, it's still 
first and ten for Prairie Central on a 33. Clay County does have two timeouts left. And on the tackle for the Tigers, number 33, Jonah Taylor. Number 15, Seth Jackson. With the carrier for the Commodores. Gain of one on the play makes it second nine. With ball spot at the Commodores 34 yard line. They will definitely milk the clock down for all it's worth. We're just going to be close to two minutes to play by the time they snap the ball. 27 24. Prairie Central clinging to a three point lead. We're about down to the point where we need a fumble on uh, Prairie Central's team. It should be, I should have had to call timeout, yep. I saw the time out, uh, back judge time uh, counting, getting ready to play delay of game. Appreciate you joining us here on the Southeast Kentucky Network and the Cats TV. 159 to go, 27-24, Perry County in the lead. Second down and nine. Getting down to the time now where Tigers need to get a stop here and get a quick timeout. And on the tackle for the Tigers, number 26, Lucas Allen. Number 15, Seth Jackson with the carry for the Commodores. Gain of one on the play, yards. makes it third and eight. Timeout, Tigers. Lake County has called uh, one of their two remaining timeouts. So they're down to one. Biggest play of the ball game for the Tigers. Right here, right now. Third and seven for the Commodores. Got to have a stop or they'll be able to just run the clock out. Good defensive effort there. And on the Lake tackle County for the is, Tigers. Uh, their last time out. It's going to bring number up more down in about Carson nine. Sizemore. Carson Sizemore came in there and shot out of a cannon. Loss of two on the play for the Commodores down. makes it fourth and nine for the Commodores with the ball spotted. Lake County is going to get a shot. Come on, Bell, let's go. At their own. Th Prairie Central is set to uh, for the Commodores the number seven. Town Maybe goers. Forty-six to go in the ball game. Back return for the Tigers number five Zach Sailor and number eleven Tyson Wagers. It's been a heck of a ball game. Jack Sailor tried to make something happen there on the And on the tackle for the Commodores, number three, Jackson Deaton, number 15, Zach Sailor in return for the Tigers. The ball is spotted at the Tigers' own 44 yard line. First and 10, Tigers. No timeouts, minute 34 to go. I'm pretty sure Tate Rice wants to atone for uh, his last mistake right there. He's throwing two interceptions tonight and we lost two fumbles. I think Coach Dixon had called a timeout before the play. Timeout, Commodores. Lake County's going to have a minute and 33 to do something with it here. First and 10, 56 yards from pay dirt. Minute 33 to go. Rice had five receivers, got a little pressure. The pass is incomplete, but number one, one, Tate Rice intended for number 26, Lucas Salen. Makes it second and 10 for the Tigers, the ball spotted on their own 44 yard line. 
Ball was tipped up in the air. Trying to hit Lucas Allen across the middle there. Goes the man over there. Gonna do a first down for Clay County. I believe that's Jaden Woods. You know, the tackle for the Commodores, number 66, Bryson Hamilton. The pass is complete, number one, Tate Rice, to number 12, Jaden Woods. Now be enough for a first down, Tigers. He's going deep. He's going deep. He catches it. And the tackle for the Commodores, number 17, Tyson Wall. The pass is complete. Tyson Wall, three man on it. Tyson Wagers, they're in a free first down to the three yard line. First and goal for the Tigers, the ball spotted at the Commodores, three yard line. No idea how he came down with that one. Here we go, Ross, looking to his right. He's going to go down. Back to the five yard. Now the tackle for the Commodores, number four. Tyler Smith. Loss of two on the play. Makes it second goal from the Commodores, five yard line. What a ball game. 40 seconds remaining. Clay County on top, 30 to 27. I can't believe that he uh, caught that ball. Three guys on him right there. Clay County has yet to score a two-point conversion tonight. Trying to throw it back of the end zone. Knocked down. No good. And the two-point two conversion, conversion is no good. Is no good. 30 to 27. Clay County did respond. He's taking the lead, 40 seconds to go. Perry Central are going to have one last shot here to pull this game out. Big district rivalry right here. Set the kick for the Tigers, number 19, Brady Wolf. Back return for the Commodores, number 84, Noah Kilburn, and number two, Ty Vinson. Somebody needs to go down on special teams and make a big uh, tackle right here. It's going to be about uh, 41, 42. Yard on the line. tackle for the Tigers, number 24. What a ball game. The Commodores will take over. On their own 43 yard line, first and 10 Commodores. But number one, Kaiser Sloan, intended for number four, Tyler Smith, makes it second and ten for the Commodores. The ball spotted on their own 43-yard line. I think Clay County actually played that possession with only ten men on the field. Guys are slow, back to pass. Running around. Lead chase. Blocking the back. 
There is a penalty on the play. He brought to the back of the Commodores. I don't know what his uh, blocker was supposed to do really at that point. Uh, Kaiser Sloan had uh, kind of circled the field and, and uh, looped back around and he was under pressure right there. But uh, definitely was a push in the back. But uh, Lyman was just trying to protect his quarterback at that point. The ball being spotted at the Commodores 24 yard line. 22.8 seconds to go. Clay County is clinging to a three-point lead, 30-27. Long's looking to pass. They can't got him covered pretty good. The pass is complete. Number one, Kaiser Sloan. Number 84, Noah Kilburn. And make it third and 13 for the Commodores. About third and about 12 or 13. But the ball spotted there's uh, about 10 and a half seconds to go in, uh, in the ball game. Prairie Central is about 60 yards away from pay dirt. Looks like Clay County's playing some prevent. They're going to let them have something underneath. Long left one go deep. The pass is incomplete. One of the old guys are slain. Bring up the pass for the Tigers. Number five, Zach Sayer. Number 11, Tyson Wagers. Makes it fourth and 13 for the Commodores. With the ball spotted on their own 40 yard line. This will be the last play of the game, it looks like. Three and a half seconds to go. It is fourth down for the Commodores. Look for some type of hook and ladder or something like that, if they can get one. Pocket collapse. Out to his left. Like his Almost goes down, gets up, throws it, ball is tipped. Intercepted by the Tigers. Intercepted before they get down. Ball game is going to be over. Tigers win. Tigers win. 30 to 27. One of the better ball games that I have seen here at Tiger Stadium in a while. And the foul score, Tiger Study, Commodores 27. Clay County miraculously has pulled it out here in the last minute. 30 27 victory is going to sew up uh, the number three uh, seat here in our district. I think that we will play the winner of Knox Central in Wayne County, which I believe is actually playing uh, right now. Folks, you need to watch the replay of this ball game. This was an incredible game. Uh, both teams left everything on the field. Uh, it was about like the Lesson County game of a few years ago, if you remember here at Tiger State. Just back and forth, back and forth. Clay County is going to pull it out, 30 to 27, and improve to 5 and 3 on the year. And Prairie Central is going to uh, fall to 5 and 3 on the year with a district game left at Harlan County uh, next week. Clay County will be right back here at home next week against uh, McGoffin County. I uh, hope you guys can join us then. Uh, we're we are going to live stream that game. So I uh, hope you guys uh, can stick around and enjoy that. Clay County victorious here tonight. Big district matchup with Prairie Central. First time we beat Prairie Central in a couple years. 30 to 27, the Tigers have pulled it out. Thanks for joining us.